guys. I wanted to come in and talk to you about something that I've been struggling with since last year. Um, in about January, February, I started losing my hair in big patches and um, I was honestly devastated. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know if it was cancer. I didn't know if it was something serious or if it was just, you know, something that I, I, I didn't know. I really wanted to figure it out, but I didn't know. Um, I started freaking out. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to buy wigs. I'm gonna lose all my hair. Uh, am I gonna be around for my kids? What What's going on? So I, I sought a doctor and um, I had to do a video appointment and that was really hard. I was like, how am I gonna show her that I'm losing my hair over a video chat? So um, I did the video chat. She referred me out to a dermatologist and it took me months and months and months to get out to the dermatologist because COVID. So the dermatologist ended up canceling my appointment twice. It, it was a nightmare. So. Finally, I get into the dermatologist about seven months later and uh, I had been doing my own research. I had started taking some minerals and vitamins uh, about, I don't know, about six months prior to that. And I wasn't taking them consistently, but I was taking them. And I, I found out from that first doctor that I had some vitamin deficiencies. She sent me out for the test. We ruled out all the, the big things, but I, I was vitamin deficient. Now I start researching, right, while I'm waiting for the dermatologist. And I find out that a lot of people that have vitamin deficiency lose their hair in big patches. So uh, I start taking my Restore on a consistent basis. I'd say I was taking it, I'd say I was taking the Restore about three or four times a week, once a day, a full dropper, and uh, I noticed some hair growth, and I was overjoyed. <laughs> I was like, this, can it be this? Uh, so I noticed the hair growth, and uh, I upped my dose. <laughs> I up my dose to two dropper fulls a day. So I started taking one full dropper at night, one full dropper in the morning when I woke up, and I also started taking Daily Detox Plus because Daily Detox Plus, uh, I, I realized, can clean out the cells. Uh, I didn't realize that a lot of people have uh, an issue with detoxing their cells or just a toxin buildup in general because of what's in our environment. So I started taking D Daily Detox Plus. And you guys, why that's important? Let me explain that. That's important because I live in Southern California. I spend a lot of time outdoors with my family. We spend our summers at the beach. We, we are out hiking uh, in the mountains locally. We go all over the place outdoor. You know, we spend a lot of time outdoors. So I shouldn't be vitamin deficient if I'm eating healthy and I am uh, spending a lot of time outdoors, or in my mind, I, I felt I shouldn't be vitamin deficient at all. So um, fast forward, I start taking the Restore twice a day and my hair starts growing a little bit faster and a little bit longer. So um, I was pretty excited. I, I had like buzz, you guys. It, was, it wasn't anything, you know. So I go to my doctor, it's been about six, seven, what was it, seven months I think it took to get into the doctor. So uh, in October I got to see the dermatologist and she said, well, whatever it is that you're doing, she said has stimulated your hair follicles to grow again. So I was excited because what she said next was the normal course of action would be to do steroid scalp injections and we're not gonna do that because your hair follicles have already started to grow. And I said, okay, um, you know, and I showed, her my, I showed her my vitamins and she said, wow, these are great. She said, these are uh, a lot better quality than most people take. She said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, so I, I continue to do it. <laughs> so uh, I will tell you guys, it's been about, let's see, six, see about a year now and I have about six to eight inches of hair growth on two spots on the side of my head here you guys um, I have before and after pictures 
that you wouldn't believe. Um, in January, my hair had bald patches and we look at it today and I have what I call spike. I, if I throw my hair up into a ponytail, I've got this long spike that sticks off about this long in the side of my head. So it's really funny. Um, so I'm in that awkward stage, but I'm grateful for it because what I figured out was how to fix an issue within my body without using steroid injections. To me, that's that's amazing. <laughs> I'm not one to think that, that medicines cure everything. I am very much in that school of thought that our bodies um, our bodies will sh will tell us what's wrong, and uh, I don't want to put a band band aid on anything. I'd like to fix it. So uh, for me vitamin deficiency was causing hair loss. Uh, it could have been something, it could have progressed to something more down the line, you know, down the line. I could have, I could have ended up with a more serious health issue had I not figured out that I was just vitamin deficient. So um, I'm really excited you guys to tell you about this because so many people are going the route of going and getting steroid injections in their scalp when maybe they don't need to. So. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. You guys uh, have a wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of your weekend.